Good morning, YouTube. How about we make some fresh, zippy, homemade lemon bars? They have a buttery shortbread crust and a filling that is to die for. And they're easy. It's a perfect win-win. Let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, let's make some lemon bars, okay? So I've got my mixer. To this, I'm going to add two sticks of melted butter. All that out of there. We're starting with the crust. We're making a very buttery shortbread crust for the lemon bars, which is just absolutely the best against that rich acidic tartness, right? Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. Aren't lemon bars just lemon shortbread? Um, kind of. You're, you're talking about, okay, you're talking about any one of a number of custard pie type dishes, right? Where you've got some kind of crust and some kind of custard. So it could be a French silk, right? It could be a lemon meringue, it could be lemon bars. All of those things are related. You make a crust, you put yummy stuff in it, okay? That's what we're doing here. And I apologize for my voice. I have steroid voice. Just finished a round of steroids and I sound awful. So my apologies. Okay, so butter, sugar, pinch of salt. That's half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. And we're just gonna set our mixer on low and let this go. Now I have preheated my oven to 325 degrees and I have a little baking thingy sheet here. Uh, I'm probably about to ditch this parchment paper. Every recipe I've ever read says to use the parchment paper. <sighs> Pros and cons, okay? We do need to grease the pan. We need something to help keep it from sticking. And if you want to pull out the lemon bars, if you want to pull them out of the thing and cut them and have nice little slices, go ahead and use the parchment paper. Con, it's a pain in the butt. It's hard to get them to like scooch, you know, down all into the cover corners. I don't know, I'll decide about that in about five seconds. Now, how do you stir this without a stand mixer? Um, you would use a wooden spoon and you're not really worrying about aerating it. So you're not using any kind of leavener in this part of it. So you don't need to worry about getting air whipped into it. The only difference is, is that when you add this two cups of flour that I'm about to add, it's gonna get real stiff, okay? So you just wooden spoon and elbow grease. It's what I did for years. So two cups of all-purpose flour. And we're gonna let the mixer do the work. So watch how thick that is. So you can hear the mixer working hard. All right, so we're gonna stop, we're gonna scrape down. Just from experience, I think what I'm gonna do, if, you're, if your mixture is not any stiffer than that, grab another quarter cup of flour, okay? So I'm gonna do that real quick. This is also pretty forgiving. Well. Not to the stand mixer. This is not a fussy pastry. Oh, well, you know what though? Here's another thing about working with flour. Once it sits for a minute and has a chance to really absorb the liquid, the consistency will change. So I grabbed another quarter, quarter cup of flour thinking I was gonna add that. I don't think I'm gonna. Okay, so here's what we do at this point. Clean hands, of course. Or, you know, not, whatever you want to do. <laughs> That's terrible. Boom, that was a terrible joke. You should be saying to yourself. All right, so we're going to put this right into our dealio. And you really would only need to use um, a little cooking spray. And you're pressing it out by hand. I guess I decided I was gonna use the parchment paper, huh? Mm. And you wanna keep it nice and even. And then as you press around the edges, you're letting it start to creep up the sides. 
and this is how you're gonna make your little, this is where all your lemony goodness is gonna go. Just like that. And then you can kind of see how thick are we at the bottom. What are we looking at? Do we want to make it thinner? I want a little thinner. But the shortbread crust on these is just as delicious as the lemon filling. So, you know, sometimes a pie crust is simply a vehicle for something better. In this case, this cookie crust is half the fun. Okay, so we have our oven on 325 degrees. And I think we are just about right. We're gonna pop this in. We're gonna give it 20 to 24 minutes, okay? And while this is baking off, we're gonna do our lemon curd. And we're live. Okay, perfect. All right, so our crust just came out of the oven in about 24 minutes. I got a little distracted when I'm on the floor, so it went in. It doesn't have to be all the way. A little soft. Yeah, it's soft at this point. That's okay, we're gonna put it back in, okay? So I'm just docking it a little bit will help just make everything a little more cohesive. Just like that, that's all you need to do. Okay, so our filling is incredibly simple. I have two cups of sugar and six tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. And to this, hi giblet, to this I'm gonna add the juice from four lemons right at one cup. And strain it and get those those seeds out of there. I made a little bit of a mess. My 11 year old was helping me. I love when the kids get in the kitchen with me. I think it's worth a little extra mess. All right, so. That little jingle is a washing machine. And yes, it's now time to swap the wash. Happy about it. Yes. It's a happy washer. <laughs> All right, so this just gets stirred together. And to this, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, just a pinch. I use table salt. And then I'm gonna stir in our eggs. If you wanna get crazy, you can whisk all this together. Not completely necessary. Lemon bar is a, we're talking about being a relative of custard pies. It's also kind of a relative of the brownie where it's just a few ingredients. A bit of a generalist. Generalist. Yes. So it's easy, simple, a dessert that is not meant to be fancy or fluffy or what have you. So. Just mix this together until you've got one nice homogenous mixture, okay? You do want to watch out, you see these? Watch out for those. That's egg white that didn't really get fully uh, beaten up. So I am gonna break out the whisk just for a minute. You just don't want bits of scrambled egg. In your finished dessert. A lot of times these uh, desserts that are made with curds, that's C-U-R-D-S, like a lemon curd or a grapefruit curd, are cooked on the stovetop. And it's really easy to uh, do your little custardy thing. See? See the difference? To do your little custardy thing, we're headed this way, babe. Just right over the top. And we're gonna go over the top of our everything. Everything, and that's fine. That is fine. All right, back in the oven, y'all. Another 22, I'd say 25 minutes. Also 325. Also 325. Okay, so right at 30 minutes actually is what they took in the oven, and we did them until they're set all the way through. Now, unfortunately, this is one of those desserts where you gotta let it cool, okay? So I'm just gonna set this over to the side. We're gonna pretend it doesn't exist for a while, and then we'll come back, slice them up, and have some lemon bars. All right, so I thought it would be a great idea to let the lemon bars sit in the refrigerator overnight and chill, except they got discovered. <laughs> and so, Blayton came out this morning, he's like, Mom, the lemon bars are great. 
It's like, okay, great, that was perfect. They really are good. Let them get nice and chilly. And I think they actually taste better when they're cold. Now last night they were warm and gooey and your filling has a tendency to run out. Let me see if I can get one of these out of here smoothly. Well, when they're, when they're warm, your filling runs out. When they're cold, that nice, beautiful, tart lemon curd that we made. There we go, guys. I think millionaire shortbread would be a good idea. Ooh, we can do that next. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a great plan. Now, if you want to, you can dust a little confectioner sugar over the top of that, and I might just to make a pretty picture, but you don't have to. They're actually beautiful just the way they are. That crust is buttery and perfectly sweet. The filling is nice and tart, but without like taking your pucker factor too high. And that, y'all, is how you make just about the best lemon bars you'll ever have.